The producers have told me to meet in a car park off the A322 next to a church. Hello. And this is what I've bought for only £252 in French engineering. You have it there. For under £300, this really is a bargain. You've got frosted headlights here. You've got fully functioning sunroof on the top here, which is very good for those hot days. 16 valve engine and non-slick tyres here for those who don't love the race days. So here we've got a 16 valve, 1.2 litre petrol engine with about 80 brake horsepower, which isn't very much due to the family it's been through losing about three horses. Now, under here is true French brutality. So we have, this is the 1.2 litre petrol engine fitted with a old advanced ham 63 volt battery and here we have the anti-coolant yeah so what i've done around the back is i've created the teenage dream of a sticker bomb which is inspired by the japanese yet designed by the british teenagers of liverpool as we can see here the french emblem is none to be seen none to be seen amongst my colours. Right, so what I've already noticed about driving over here is that there's a very big blood stain on the seat from the ex-family murder that used to own one of these. And can I say, it's, it's rather cotch in here. So, ah, what I've noticed is, yeah, the, the gear bag, bag box has actually managed to come out of it place. Right, now that I've given you my correct and detailed opinion, now it's time for Richard Hammond's. What? You've bought that? Well, you look like you've come dressed as a, someone who owns an M3 in the paper and slough. Why don't you just look at this? Look, look can you see in there? Fully, fully functioning indicators. That is what you, you don't know, get. You know your gearbox is a bit messed up. That's just history. That, that, yeah. Oh, is it? Okay. So what you see here is family tradition with a touch of class. Look at that. It's your that, own personal door yeah, lock. That, that's, I've got to say, that's quite stylish. Need five you doors don't. and a hatchback. Look at that. You've got a fully functioning door there to put your kids, your dead bodies, or your wives in the back if they're annoying you and then you simply lock them up and you're good to go. In a small hatchback, only worth £252. Look at that. Look at that. Well, you've got a few nads on the seat and it's a bit basic. Yeah, but what do you expect from the French? Look, well, not a lot, I guess, isn't That it? dial says 160, and I believe I can get up to 160 in this, Hammond. No. Ooh. Okay, look. You see that? Twizzling noddles. But the wing mirrors! Yeah, but every car has that. No, but look look at the front of the car. It says 2005. This is what I think is the future. Renault have not thought about anything else other than the Clio here. Look at that. I mean, if you're dropping the kids off at places like churches, for instance, to go to their Sunday mass, that's what I need it for. What? What's going on here? Well, that's ex tape from the fetus who designed it. So he thought to close the wing mirror like that would save many leakages, but What's also, that? well, that, that's the main leakage. So when it's, when it's on a nice rainy day, you get a little bit of light drizzle dripping down here and you know that your car is not working very well. Hang on, what's that? <laughs> right, well. <laughs> Looks like you, Jeremy, your car's been shot at. No, it. <laughs> What's happened here is the murderer that's owned this has got away very quickly. But as you can see, the glass has withheld everything and it's intact, so... With Jeremy talking a load of gibberish, I was getting bored. So I left. 
Ooh, hang on, what's that? The producers have given us one of these. So it says, now that you've talked about your car in great detail, it's time to see what it's like on the move. Right, off we go. So I've noticed in the Clio there are a number of components around here which actually the French have thought about before they have decided to even content with the design of making this, such as rear windscreen washers, which <laughs> don't even work. So down here in the 2005 version we have the aircon, which when I press does absolutely nothing at all. What's happened here is they want you to think, yeah, the Clio is only to be driven in the French Alps and not in England. There is one thing I have noticed when I do accelerate, is a colossal knocking underneath the front bonnet. And I think that could be the suspension has actually given way during these large bumps. So, there's something about this throttle, when I do push it down like this, it actually has quite a lot of energy <laughs> through the back of the exhaust here. But what I'm seeing with the brakes is mild, mild screeching, which actually could affect performance going down a fast road like this. I'm about to kill someone. Hello! <laughs> she liked the car. You see there are many men in France who think I may just start a family from a fetus because they have a Clio with five doors. Hammond was wrong, you need a Clio. For actually a car that's done 130,000 miles, I think this is quite a smooth running car. Oh look, it's another one of me! So I'm, I'm not going to tell Hammond that there's a warning light on the dash and it says service. Yeah, that could be worrying. I might need to check underneath the bonnet after this drive. What's happened here is I've driven into a bark. Yeah, so as we've discovered here, the Clio doesn't fly. <sighs> Boring, tedious, waiting. So the producers have asked me to buy a sandwich. Let's see how that goes. So the producers have asked me to buy something of a sandwich. Um, so I basically think they want me to just... Right. 